NerdErotic.com. Woo! Oh, boy! Woo! The Marvels is certainly flopping farther faster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Brie Larson stars in this film as a socially awkward autistic woman with conveniently changing superpowers. I mean, God, I wish we could all do that. Her greatest fight in the movie was her physical battle with an undiagnosed scoliosis during the Trump <laughs> Bill. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, we get it. She's white. Don't make the poor girl jump rope. <laughs> right. Now, the Marvels marks the first movie made specifically for the benefit of our deaf audiences, who were the only ones who got to truly enjoy the scenes on the musical planet of Aladdin. <laughs> Now, if you enjoyed bros, you're going to love the prince in Aladdin. Ooh, I, think I, I, think I, I think you might have been an extra in one of the gangbang scenes. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's surprised industry insiders with a tremendous box office showing. Interestingly enough, Five Nights at Freddy's is how I refer to my last relationship. <laughs> ah, woo! How's that for Beyond the Trailer? <laughs> the trailer for the highly anticipated film, The American Society of Magical Negroes, just came out, uh, which Dude. stars David Allen Greer, and it's directed by Kobe Libby. The film follows the story of a young man named Aaron who was recruited into a secret society of magical black people who actually bring the items back to Target and put them back on the shelves. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh. Can't wait. Here it most affected. Oh. That is magic. That is magic. Now, nobody is more excited for this movie than Ryan Kinnell, who will undoubtedly use the word Negro more than it was ever used on all the plantations in Louisiana. <laughs> When asked about the genre of the film, The American Society of Magical Negroes, uh, what, what genre it was in, director Kobe Libby said science fiction, fantasy, satire, and race baiting. <laughs> <laughs> Now, nobody is more worried about this movie than film critic and commentator John Campia, who will undoubtedly refuse to use the film's full title. <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. He's probably just going to be like, oh, the American Society movie. <laughs> Love that I, heard, I heard Jeremy D. Day Cobra laughed and took exception to the title. Uh, actually, when he saw the word society and Negro were used together, he actually said, wow, wouldn't that be really magical for America? Now the American... <laughs> oh, you're on the floor. Is that where your crumbs are, as? Ez, when are we going to get a full body shot? <laughs> I love That's that you're doing, all these, you're doing so many workouts. Your head and neck look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the Negro movie. Uh, the, American <laughs> the American Society of Magical Negroes is said to be released by March 22nd, 2024. But if it's late, it's not their fault, and it would be racist to point that out. <laughs> a brand new reimagining of Godzilla, or Gojira, is set for theaters on December 1st titled Godzilla Minus One. Godzilla himself will be reprising their original role as the titular radioactive monster from the 1954 film, also reprising their original role as screaming Asian, uh, will be X-Ray Girl, who will also be returning. 
<laughs> it <laughs> is X-ray. Great. Everybody. The Holdovers, uh, directed by Alexander Payne and starring Paul Giamatti, came out last week. Interestingly enough, The Holdovers is also what we refer to the drunk women that Ryan Kinnell brings home at 3 a.m. <laughs> 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 They they, they sign they they sign consent forms. All right, it's oh, all right. <laughs> and NDAs afterwards. Yep. Send them home with a fruit basket. Um, <laughs> Alexander Payne originally was going to call the movie The Leftovers, and it was going to star as here, but then he realized that nobody would believe that as would ever have any leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, and I. I attended a VIP screening. I got, I got a free uh, flower. I got this very special gold pen, and I got a pin um, on my shirt. I just wanted to point that out. I'm very special. Um, <laughs> Do it for the gift bags. The Hunger Games. Uh, it co-stars Rachel Zegler as Lucy Gray, the female tribute from District 12. Woo! Not to spoil anything, but my girl Rachel defeats the other tributes by replaying all her Snow White interviews. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's one more movie coming out, and it's Napoleon, starring starring Joaquin Phoenix, comes out next week and is expected to do well and get Oscar buzz. Comics, are you excited for this movie? <laughs> Why? I know. I know. Not you, either, honestly. <laughs> well, I I always thought you looked up to Napoleon. Ha <laughs> ha. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, me, how's your hairbrush doing? You still haven't found it yet. What? Oh. Is what that? <laughs> <laughs> Any poop, I'm Grace Randolph from Beyond the Trailer, and I'll MC you later. Oh. <laughs> That's a phrase that I, I, came up with that. I came up with that phrase. That's Bravo! That's <laughs> 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 Nerdorotic.com, please subscribe. Hey, if you like what we do here at Nerd Rotic Daily, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you could do that with your favorite YouTuber as well, I'm sure they would appreciate it as much as I do.